Hi, I'm Nick Harris at Watch Technology Institute here at North Seattle College. Today we'll be going over the principles of wet pressure testing. Wet pressure testing is done to identify a gross leak in a watch case generally after dry pressure testing has proved inconclusive. The wet pressure tester uses this lever to increase the pressure within the chamber. If the watch case has a leak, the pressure inside the case will also increase. You can then submerge the watch case into the water then release the pressure. Releasing the pressure will appear as a stream of bubbles emerging from the leak in the watch case. This diagram represents the watch case that is not compromised. The green dots are high pressure. You can see that the green dots are not within the watch case. This diagram represents a watch case that is compromised after pressurizing the chamber, the high pressure will infiltrate the watch case. After submerging it, then letting off the pressure from the pressure tester, you will see the high pressure escape from the watch case in the form of bubbles at the point of the leak. After attaching the watch to the telescoping rack and securing the lid, apply pressure by cranking the lever. The needle will increase. After your desired pressure has been reached, allow it to sit for a few minutes so that the air can fully penetrate the watch if there is a leak. As you can see, the bubbles emanated from the area around the crown. This would suggest an area to investigate when trying to solve the water resistance issues with this watch.